can we talk about a very minor signing? All right, it's not going to pop off the page. You probably heard of it just because it was kind of a slow news day. But the San Francisco 49ers re-signed Juwan Jennings to a two-year, $10 million contract guaranteed. All right, I think it was like 15 or 16 mil, $10 million guaranteed. That's not a lot of money for an NFL contract, right? That's not below you out of the water money. But that is something. Like $5 million a year for a player? That is definitely something. That is something against the cap. That's something that matters. That's not just a million-dollar contract, a $1.5 million-dollar contract. Like, that is a significant amount of money. And this is just a reminder of the power of not having to pay your quarterback. When you don't have to pay your quarterback, you can build such an elite roster around him that it really does not matter who your quarterback is to some extent. Brock Purdy, I think, is a good quarterback, very solid, obviously went to the Super Bowl. You can't have a zero at quarterback and make it to the Super Bowl, but he is surrounded by so many good weapons because he's getting paid like 600K a year and nothing against the cap. They have surrounded him with such weapons, such a great defense, such great personnel, and the right head coach that the San Francisco 49ers are showing the model to keep and sustain Big, long, good seasons over and over again. You don't get to pay Trent Williams and Debo Samuel and Christian McCaffrey and Brandon Ayuk and all these other guys on offense if you are paying the quarterback $40, $50 million against your cap, right? You don't get to keep Joey Bosa and Fred Warner and Greenlaw if you are paying the quarterback $50 million against the cap. It is a superpower your rookie contract for your starting quarterback. If you get a good one and you can keep him at that rookie salary for four or five years, it is just such a superpower to your GM, such a power to your team to be able to build a great roster that is sustainable and can keep you in the hunt for years and years to come. And this is why I'll post the video down below. I was already have a video about why do fans get so excited whenever they pay players big money? As a fan of your team, you should be rooting for your guys to get fair deals. Rooting for your guys to take a little bit of a hometown discount. And this is why. Jared Goff got $50 million a year. Congrats to Jared Goff. I'm not mad at Jared Goff. But why are fans celebrating that $50 million contract? It'd be a lot better if he signed for 35, 32. That's four or five starters in the NFL, the difference between 32 and $50 million. You can build a much better roster. They're going to have to pay all of this talent that Detroit has. Jared Goff probably would like a better defense around him. If he took less money, they would have a better chance at building that defense around him. There's only two ways to win a Super Bowl have an elite roster, or have an elite quarterback. And if you don't have an absolute dude at quarterback, we are talking Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, C.J. Stroud probably will fall into this bucket. If you don't have one of those guys, I left out a few. I won't name them all. don't want to get in trouble with that tonight. If you don't have one of those elite, elite guys, then you better have a fantastic roster, which means you cannot pay your average to above average quarterback 50 plus million dollars against your cap. The 49ers are gearing up for one last run here with Brock Purdy needing to get paid soon and this roster getting older. I think the 49ers have a chance to pull a little bit of a last dance here with this core group of guys. I'm excited to see it. Can't wait for football season as always. For all of us here at Garbage Time Sports, have a great night.